Ladies and gentlemen, we have another puzzle by Daniel Alterman. Now this guy sent me some custom puzzles. He's an army veteran and he got inspired to start building puzzles. Uh, this is the third one he sends me. So this is handcrafted. By the way, if you're interested in this, I think he has five for sale. Follow the link below, I've dropped it there. Uh, this is ours. I might have Antoine actually set this up once we uh, get through this. I gotta, I gotta watch out, I'm allergic to peanuts peanut joke and I'm not actually so it's a bad joke but whatever this is plan B okay so plan B in case gotta love packing peanuts is there anything else in here Get this out of the way you got a knife over there Antoine thank you Daniel stepped up his game a little bit here I gotta say so the insides look rattled for sure because of how it was sent so we may have to reset this and I may need Antoine to go ahead and reset it Reset it. So there you have it. Antoine has set this up. This is the back of the puzzle, and we had to plug it in, so it's plugged into over here with a little USB thing. And this is the front of it. How cool is that? We should probably get a lower camera angle on this for the solve. While we set up the lower camera angle, enjoy some of this B roll. Now that we've got all the cameras sorted out, uh, we can see what's happening because I accidentally moved a piece here. But before we get into that, I just want to kind of focus on the contents of what's inside here. And you can see there's there's a vial right here with a key inside, something behind it. What is that? Something behind it. Looks like magnet. No, it's a tube. And then we have the snack looking like a hot snack right there. And also I noticed there's a little vial on the inside here. So those things, there's also an, an opening here, just like a vending machine, you know, you gotta reach your arm into, that's kinda cool. You can't get anything out of there. You got this, what we got here? We got this, whatever this is. Looks like maybe a tool I can unscrew, I'll check that out eventually. And we got the knob, again, probably not supposed to unscrew that. But now let's take a look at this top part here, cause I don't know what's going on. So we got this. Oh, there's like a little magnet here, look at that. That's all that does. Huh, and that doesn't come off, okay. So that's all that does. It's just shift side to side, none of these move. Next, what we're gonna look at is this here. This looks like it can be a, uh... I don't know if I'm supposed to unscrew this. But here I am. It is a magnet. What do we use this magnet for? I think, uh, I think I got an idea. Oh, this is cool. I like this though. Can we? I don't want to get that lost in there either. Can I attract anything with this magnet? Huh. What does that do? Does that do anything on the inside? Can I see? I can't see anything there. Should I just shake it and spin it? <laughs> we got to find out what this magnet is for. Was there anything in that hole here? No. Can I see? Nothing in there. I have a feeling like I should attract that with this magnet, but uh, it's not working. Not strong enough. Some felt here. Huh. Let me get a different angle here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that vial is stuck there. It looks like there's an actual clip onto that vial. You can kind of see that little metal, that little metal clip right here. Looks like it's hanging on there. And the snack itself is also leaning. Nothing's happening. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where this magnet may go. This is uh, a lot more difficult than I expected. I thought there would be more, more things to go on. Maybe I'm just not inspecting it properly, let me. Nothing underneath. In back we still have this button right here. It does nothing right now. Spring-loaded button. Oh, okay. So if I push this button, I can probably pull this up, but my guess is I need a tool to be able to push it in all the way so that I can, I can pull that window up. Cool. Still no clue what this does. There's gotta be something. Oh, wow. Strobe lights. 
my hand is too fat to fit in that gap. I don't want to hear any innuendos in the comments, all right? Uh, promise internet that you won't uh, misinterpret what I just said. Thanks. Okay, so this unscrews too. Do we just unscrew it? Hell with it. Why not? We're unscrewing things. Okay, maybe this. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. We put the magnet on the knob. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm really enjoying the look of this puzzle. It looks super sick. What would you do? What would you guys do in this instance right now? Would you uh, would you tilt it upside down? Okay, it's called snack break. Break B R A K E, like a break, like a like a handbrake, right? Like breaking, like stopping. What can that mean? Snack break, break the glass. No. So normally in a vending machine you can just do this, right? Rock it back and forth, maybe. I still have no idea what this top thing is for here. So we got a magnet, and there's a reason for that magnet. There's a metal thing on the key. Like this little, there's this little metal piece holding that key. If I could attract that to here, it might fall and I might be able to grab the key and unlock this. Retrieve the snack. Again, what is this for? Is it just a red herring? Why is there a tube there? Why are there things in there? What, how do I get that out? Can this slide down? I'm just gonna keep running this magnet around the entire puzzle. I think that's the only thing that uh, that I have so far, other than this moving piece. That's the hinge. Getting attracted to the hinges. What's this belt piece? Oh, we've made we've made a new tool but literally doesn't do anything other than just adds, <laughs> adds a piece to the existing tool. I almost think like he did that on purpose though. Like it fits too nicely to not. I feel like that's also this here fits like almost perfectly into that felt spot right there for, for no, no apparent reason, but it does fit. Break, break, break. Kind of stumped. If I unplug this. <laughs> Thought something might be like, oh, because you unplugged it, it fell. Lee just suggested to me the color red for breaking. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's red. What does that do? Just makes it red, Lee. I'm trying to listen. When you break, you go from yellow orange, red, right? You go from yellow, orange, red. Green. Greens go. Yellow, orange, red, purple. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man, oh man. None of these move. How long has it been? 18 minutes. 18 minutes and we've barely cracked the surface. Ah. I'm not gonna resort to actually shaking it because I know that that could probably cause a problem, but I did wanna just kinda tilt it, you know, like a vending machine, where you're like, hey, my snack is stuck. That's kinda what I wanted to uh, to do there. Not gonna go any harder than that. Why the magnet and why this magnet? Huh? It says here, can you read on that vial? It's way too small for you to read. That little vial, there's a piece of paper there and it says extract magnet with tool. Extract magnet with tool. Extract magnet with tool, what does that mean? Extract magnet with tool. There's a, there seems to be a magnet in there like holding the vial, right? So behind, if you have a look behind the vial, there seems to be like a cylindrical magnet or like a little disc magnet. There is this button in the back but I feel like I don't have the right tool. So this button is preventing this plexiglass from lifting up. I can't push it in further than the plexiglass. And this part of the tool is too wide to push that in as well. I don't wanna use an external tool to push that in. That's, that's what I'm trying to avoid here is what I'm saying. Because otherwise I could do that. I could just push that in and maybe that's how I have to extract the magnet using a tool once I'm back here because there is a hole right here right here 
there's a hole with a copper tube. And I think I have to feed the magnet through that copper tube somehow through the back. But I can't get to the back because I don't have a tool that allows me to push that in. Yeah, no, there's no way I can lift that out without a without another tool to guide me. It says extract magnet with tool. And it has number one written beside it, like it's like the first step. Check out the monitor to see if anything's gonna move if I, if I move the magnet back here, but it doesn't seem strong enough to do anything. And still this, I have no idea what that does. Extract magnet with tool. There's a magnet here, there's a magnet there, there's a magnet here. Which magnet are we talking about here? And which tool? This is uh, this is giving me a run for my money here. Why is there a gap? The gap is there because, okay, here's what I'm thinking. So there's this copper pipe back here. Once we open the back of this thing, the magnet's gonna get sucked through that copper pipe, thus releasing the metal object that is attracted to that magnet on there. That's gonna fall through here. I'm gonna open the vial, unlock the lock, retrieve the snack. And I think that's how this whole game works. That's how this puzzle functions. The only thing I'm missing currently is a tool that allows me to push that little button in the back so that this plexiglass here can move up. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to, to this thing here. Seems to be absolutely nothing. However, the mechanism could be hidden Thinking for some reason there might be a tool in here, but that's ridiculous. I'm just reaching it, reaching it, uh, trying to guess here. If I had some sort of magical tool that would help me push that pin in the back, that would be really nice. And I'm sure that magical tool is hidden somewhere, probably inside that vial. I'm not flipping this thing upside down either. I think that might be a mistake. Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just wrote to Daniel uh, on an email because I wanted to make absolutely sure that I wasn't allowed to use an external tool or to push this in with my finger as far as I could in order for this to lift up. And he confirmed that no, there should be another tool uh, hidden somewhere that will allow me to do that. And that's all the information that I've got, so I'm, I'm keeping it 100. I feel like this magnet should be there to extract magnet with tool. Are they talking about extracting this magnet that's on this screw top here? Because that doesn't come out. That vial's attached to this door. I can see it moving. You see that vial moving when I move this door. He doesn't say no banging either. Like normally that is made clear with a lot of puzzles. No banging, no swearing, no having fun. Ah, like a half an hour, eh? 30, 40 minutes so far and we've gotten nowhere. Well, not nowhere, we've just gotten barely anywhere. Okay, well also, why would you give me this? Why, why, why would this not be inside, right? That's a good question. Why would I have this? Just to change the color of it? Also, the colors here are orange, yellow, red, or red, yellow, orange, so maybe that's the thing. Yellow, orange. Orange, yellow, red. Orange, yellow, red. The yellow look green to you, or is that just the glass? That's the glass. Oh, is this the extra tool that I have to use? No. Man, oh man, oh man. Why is, uh, why is this giving me such a hard time here? One, extract the tool with, extract the magnet with tool. Extract the magnet with tool. Aha! No, no idea. Just thought I'd say that out loud. Felt good. Aha, got it. See, see how good that felt? Found it. No. I am utterly stumped at this, at this moment right now. There's nothing, I have nothing to go on. Absolutely nothing. Doesn't do anything on the inside visibly. Again, with the colors, orange, orange, yellow, sorry, orange, yellow, red, red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, orange, yellow, red, red, yellow, orange, orange, yellow, red. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> there's always that fear, as someone who solves puzzles, there's always that fear of, uh, of either having a dis, like a, like a defect puzzle because you're stumped, 
you don't have an explanation left, you assume it's broken. Cause that's the only way my mind can comprehend how this works. Kind of like a magic trick. When you can't figure it out, you just give up, right? You're like, ah, it must be something, right? But with, with a puzzle, you're like, okay, if I can't figure it out, well then it must be broken. But honestly, it's probably just, I haven't thought of something. And when you get that aha moment, that's, that's what you're looking for. I'm just gonna go back to the email he sent me initially with the, the details of this puzzle. So the video below will give you a preview as well as an outline of the objectives. My only rule is to solve the puzzle standing upright as it's shown. No clue. Well, you know what? At least it makes for a nice little decoration that we can throw up on the shelf and just leave it at that. What do you think? Here's the thing, okay? Another little, another little thought that popped into my mind is that that little vial with the message on it, if that's a clue, then obviously I need to get that out before I open this door. Otherwise, what the heck's the point of putting a clue in if the puzzle's already solved, right? So that vial needs to be the first thing to come out, guaranteed. Guaranteed that's how I see this thing. How that vial is extracted, I don't know. But that vial, I believe, allows me to get a pin, which then pushes this back in. I'm figuring this puzzle out. I'm just missing the one piece, the one piece, which helps me figure this out. And that is how to extract that vial from this crack here. You get what I'm saying? You catching my drift? You picking up what I'm putting down? How come there's a magnet up here? That also throws me off completely. I don't know what to do right now. Swap the camera angle a little bit so you can actually see the, the living frustration in real time. I'm, I'm at this point now. This is where I'm at, okay? Because why else would you give me the remote, right? Aha! A battery. I'm gonna keep trying to mess around with using this magnet on the back of the thing. Hopefully that does something. That's all I can think of right now. I'm gonna keep using this tool. I'm gonna to unplug this, by the way. There's a magnet here. Oh, look at that. There's a little sliver. Can you focus in on that? There's a small sliver right here of something, right? And that, let me just make sure. Yeah. Oh, here too. Oh, listen. Something stuck to the magnet. Oh, here we go. I got it. I got it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Get ready for this. This is gonna be hype. Did you hear that? So. Okay, what the heck's going on? I heard a bearing. I heard a bearing. A bearing fell somewhere. You guys heard that. Okay, there's something here. Look, listen. Okay, maybe and it stops there. It's like stuck here. Okay, it's almost like I passed it through like this tube and then it rolled down, but I don't know where. So it's like stuck here now. That is uh, is now caught here. Okay, where's that hole? Okay, that, that copper tube looks like it's going up. I think 
we're moving it up. Yep. That's good. So we're going to bring it up to here. Okay, we're here now. Now what? Maybe this thing? What? That's insane. That's insane. Okay, what you didn't see, <laughs> what you didn't see, there's a ball bearing right there. Smack that magnet, which then released the vial. And so there, this is insane. Wow, that is so cool. Okay, so we have the key. Key is here. Wait, why doesn't the key fit? Huh? Why doesn't the key fit? The, you're supposed to fit. It's not the right key. It's not the right key. It doesn't fit. There's a little hook on it. Maybe the hook is the key. Maybe I can lock pick it. Never lock picked a lock. Oh, there we go. I was just about to say I never lock picked a lock using a hook. Why wouldn't you do, I don't understand why I wouldn't put the key there though. Cause that was, that was a little bit confusing. But here we go. The grand reveal. Dun, 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 dun. That is pretty. Look how pretty that is. Here's the snack. We have retrieved the snack. Oh, there's something in here. Just a magnet. Why would there be tape there? Why would there be tape there? Anyone? No? Uh, why would that be there if there's no magnet? Oh, wait. <laughs> here we go. Bing, bing. Okay, so these I guess are the clues. Place both to the side. Reset machine, claim your prize. Is this the, like, I feel like there's something should be in here. None of these seem to be, there's gotta be something I'm missing here. That's what the problem is. Maybe this felt comes off? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Stuck, let's go. Oh my God, this is cool. I'm actually stoked, this is exciting. This guy doesn't disappoint with puzzles, let me tell you. Yo! What the actual? Oh, look at the inside of that. What does this do? There's a lot of work that went into this, let me tell you, that's pretty insane. So we have a deck of cards here. <laughs> cool deck of cards. Thank you very much, Daniel. Daniel's literally adding to my collection every time. So let me get this straight. This is nuts. That's what's happening right now. All right, so where's that, where's that bearing? We're gonna pop that bearing. That bearing is now hard stuck to, the, uh, to that magnet, as you can see. Can I extract that bearing then using the other magnet? Why does that happen? Do you see this? Is this a magnet as well? So the little hook inside actually serves its purpose to hold on to, to that there. But as soon as this magnet touches, look what happens. That comes off. I don't know why that is, but it's science and that's cool. I like science. So that goes back there, just like that. That was there. And and this little this little vial, that's it for here. We can I think we can lock this up. I actually won't lock it up because I want to keep it open for a second to see what happens here. So, I'm guessing here is where you want to put this metal bead. So this is tricky because here I'm going to use this. The metal bead is now at the bottom of this copper wire. I'm going to use this magnet. Bring it up, there it is. You can actually see it through there in the hole. Can you see that? You, you see it right there, little bearing. The bearing then has to climb up 
go through here, and that's where it fell down. And it falls down there. And the reason it falls so slowly is because within a copper tube, it'll actually drop a lot slower. So it creates this auditory illusion, which I didn't understand. Once it's here, you bring it through here. So the only reason this uh, top part, which we see here, which was sliding back and forth, this one here, the only reason that was there was so it could move out of the way so that this bearing, which is now caught here on the magnet, would fall through here and watch what happens when it falls through. We'll turn this around. What? That is so, so sick. That is so sick. Daniel, you've outdone yourself again, my guy. That is truly, truly nuts. Look at this. Daniel, this is one of the coolest puzzles I own by far, and I thank you for that. Really, really cool. Aesthetically, the most pleasing of your puzzles, but definitely the most genius as well. This is honestly one of the dopest puzzles ever. There's, there's actual physics that are at work here uh, using the copper piping, and as well as those double magnets to push off the, uh, the vial with the key here. What a fun solve. So much fun, so beautiful. If you guys wanna check out Daniel's work, he's got a few of these for sale, not many. I'm not sure how many left. You can click the link below. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more of this content. Every Wednesday, we're dropping new puzzles. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Rock. Awesome.